Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your tutor, Disha. Today, I'll be working the first question of the Human and Social Biology July 2021 Paper 2. The first part says, Table 1 shows some of the steps involved in the birth process. Complete the table by correctly numbering each step to show the correct order in the birth process. All right, guys, let's just look at the, the various steps. The first one here says the baby is expelled head first. Next, the release of oxytocin. Next, rhythmic contractions resulting in the baby being pushed through the cervix and then the vagina. Lastly, the expulsion of the placenta. All right, students, take a look at this. Do you think this is ordered properly? Why would you expel the baby's head first and then release the hormone that causes all of this to happen? Doesn't make any sense, right? The first, first step in the birth process is the release of oxytocin. And this is the hormone secreted from the pituitary, which stimulates the uterus, right? Causing it to contract and causing all of the rest of the processes to occur. Number one, release of oxytocin. Number two, the oxytocin has an effect on the uterus, right? There's gonna be rhythmic contractions resulting in the baby being pushed through the cervix and then into the vagina. The head is expelled first, right and eventually the baby will get out and then you'll have the expulsion of the placenta the steps here again one release of oxytocin two rhythmic contractions three baby's head is expelled first and four expulsion of the placenta next we need to stay two reliable methods of birth control right you could talk about the barrier method these methods are very effective yes the diaphragm for the female and the condom for the male number two the hormonal method is extremely effective for example the contraceptive pill or the hormone infused intrauterine device sterilization oh my god that's a hundred percent effective tubal ligation for the females and vasectomy for the males all right moving on table two shows data collected in five caribbean countries comparing the number of live births of women who attended antenatal clinics versus those oh my god i can't write to save my life versus those women who did not attend antenatal clinics so take a moment to look at the table here and of course guys you know what's coming next they're gonna ask you to plot a graph specifically a bar graph to show the live birth rates of the number of women who attended antenatal clinics and the woman who did not attend antenatal clinics for each country. Here is my bar graph, right? Don't forget your title, guys. Always have your title. All right, so the next part of the question says we need to state which country had the highest number of live births as a result of their women attending antenatal clinics. You don't have to use the graph to do that. You can also use the table here. You can see that Trinidad and Tobago had the highest amount of women who attended antenatal clinics. So the answer here is Trinidad and Tobago with a total of 85 per 100. All right, next, suggest one reason why some countries had low live birth rates, even though their women attended antenatal clinics. So even though these women attended the antenatal clinics and may receive checkups and so forth, they might also have labor complications. Lastly, a follow-up study was done on the women who attended antenatal clinics to determine the health of the mothers and their babies. The study showed that the mothers who breastfed their babies were healthier and so were their babies. 
And then you need to suggest one reason for good health in the breastfeeding mothers and one reason for good health in the breastfed babies. Breast milk overall now will contain antibodies, which is going to boost the baby's immune system right the amount of nutrients in the in the mother's breast milk is going to be able to support the baby in such a way that it's going to be in, in the correct proportions which will in turn helps the baby to maintain a healthy weight for the mothers now when they breastfeed the baby it helps them to heal right it helps the uterus to contract and thus heal it breastfeeding also boosts her mental health which gives her good health overall it prevents her from developing postpartum um stress in that she'll be developing a bond with her child all right guys thanks for watching this was my answers for number one stay tuned for the next video in which i'll look at question two